Hi kids! Today we will learn how to round the decimal numbers to their nearest whole numbers. So let's start. Here we have a decimal number. It is 5.6. What does it mean? It means 5 and 0.6. That is, it has a whole number and a decimal number portion. And it is somewhere between 5 and 6. And if we have to round it to nearest whole number, there are two options. Either round it down to 5 and remove the decimal portion, or round it up to next whole number, which is 6. And the rule is, if the decimal portion is 0.5, or more than 0.5, that is, if the decimal number is more than a half, we round it up. And it means the number is more close to next whole number. And if the decimal portion is less than 0.5, we round it down, as it means the decimal portion is less than a half, or more close to the previous whole number. And in this case, 0.6 is more than 0.5. So, we will round it up to the next whole number, that is, 6. Now, let's see more examples. Now, the next number we have to round off to nearest whole number is 3.4. What does it mean? It means 3 and 0.4. That is, it has a whole number and a decimal number portion. And it is somewhere between 3 and 4. And if we have to round it to the nearest whole number, there are two options. Either round it down to 3 and remove the decimal portion, or round it up to the next whole number, which is 4. And the rule is, if the decimal portion is 0.5 or more than 0.5, that is, if the decimal number is more than a half, we round it up. It means the number is more close to the next whole number. And if it's less than 5, we round it down, as it means the number is more close to previous whole number. And in this case, 0.4 is less than 0.5. So, we will round it down to previous whole number, that is 3. Now let's take another example. Here we have number 25.50. That means this number is between 25 and 26. And it can be either rounded down to 25 or rounded up to 26. It all depends on decimal number portion, which is 0 0.50 here. And we learned rule is if decimal portion is 0.5 or more, the number is rounded up. And if the decimal number is less than 0.5, we round it down. And here, the decimal portion is 0 0.50. 0 0.50 equals 0 0.5, as 0 0.5 and 0 0.50 is one and the same, as zeros in the rightmost places of decimal numbers does not matter. So this number will be rounded up to 26. Now let's learn another example. Now we have a number, 65.03. We know this number is somewhere between 65 and 66. And it can be either rounded down to 65 or rounded up to 66. For that we have to see the decimal portion, which is 0 0.03. And if it's less than 0.5, it will be rounded down, and if more than 0.5 or 0.5, round it up. 
0 0.03 is less than 0 0.50. So the number will be rounded down to 65. Now let's take another example. Now we have number 70.004. We know this number is somewhere between 70 and 71. It can be either rounded down to 70 or rounded up to 71. For that, we have to see the decimal portion, which is 0 0.004. And if it's less than 0.5, it will be rounded down, else rounded up. Kids, 0 0.5, 0 0.50, and 0.500 are one and the same thing. Now we can clearly see that 0 0.004 is less than 0.500, so the number will be rounded down to 70. So kids, now we know how to round the decimal numbers to the nearest whole numbers. Let's round off some decimal numbers quickly now. 4.78 it lies between 4 and 5. 0.78 is bigger than 0.50, so it will be rounded up to 5. 9.31 It lies between 9 and 10. 0.31 is less than 0.50, so it will be rounded down to 9. 1.96 it lies between 1 and 2. 0.96 is bigger than 0.50. So it will be rounded up to 2. So kids, today we learned how to round off decimal numbers to the nearest whole numbers. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.